Hey folks, we're here at the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. I'm with the winner of the Unlimited Amateur 5 and 6 year old final, Jimmy Barris, who rode two time jewel and marked a 220. Congratulations to you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. How does it feel to win your first uh, major title here? Past, past awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Um, of course, I can't give much, enough credit to my trainer, Grant Setnica. He uh, found this horse when he was a rain cow horse and was having problems with, he changed leads on himself and stuff. And he called me up because I told Grant, I said, man, I don't, I don't want any more amateur horses. I don't want any more non-pro horses. I want a really kick-ass open horse. So he called me, showed me this little video of him and he said, I'll never forget it. He said, this horse is special. And, uh, so we, he brought him home. I went over there about three, four weeks later, saw him, bought him on the spot. He said, now, I know how impatient you are, so you got to be patient with him. And uh, I was. And he, I know there's good trainers here, but there's nobody as good as Grant Setnica in my book. He did miracles with this horse. I mean, he had the natural ability and stuff that you can't teach, but... Um, Man, I'm home. You turned him into a winning horse for you. Did you have instant chemistry with the horse? I did. I um, <clears throat> We got him, like I said, he said we need to be patient. So we got him, bought him in November, December of 15. Um, I think he showed him in a couple of weekend shows. And then I rode him one time a week before the Super Stakes last year and made the finals on him. So it was pretty good. And then... Um, Showed him at some other shows, um, and then Grant made the finals on him in the Open in the Derby last year. He was sixth and first or second Geldy, you know, I don't remember, but he was he was up there. He won right at fifty eight, almost fifty nine thousand last year, but he didn't start cutting till he was till April. And so um, he's just funny. He's little. He's probably not 13, 13 two, gutsy, cocky. I just love him. So obviously showed all that today. Take us through your run. He showed, showed. Well, um, first cow is a black cow. We cut all the all the cows we cut. We wanted, and I was last in the bunch, so it was pretty tough. But um, got him cut clean. Um, he was throwing dirt out of the arena. Got the second one cut clean, and the third one. Um, we we're looking at a white jawed cow and I saw it and bringing it up and then Grant says and the black one with the crap on the sides good and then this and I don't think I was listening <laughs> and I ended up cutting the gray cow and none of the black cows but it all worked out fine it all worked out good so uh, I was tickled to death I mean I'm not going to make a living doing this, but this was probably one of the most fun things I've ever done. Well, speaking of that, you've won $23,000 today, um, almost almost doubling your lifetime what? earnings. So, I mean, you've got to be happy with that. I am happy. I'm, I'm very happy. And then I show, and I made the finals on him tomorrow in the 50 amateur, and my plan is to win it too. And Grant's going like, aren't you satisfied? I went, no. So what wise words did he give you when, you know, as, as coaching, what sticks with you? Grant's good because, you know, when Grant and I met, he he understood at the beginning I was, I'm very competitive and I want him to coach me like a coach used to coach me. I want him to be hard on me. You know, if I mark a 220, my first deal is that when I go out there is like, what could I have done to mark a 222? Could I have done something to make it better? So then next time... I know. He just told me, he said, go in there, cut like you've been cutting. I've been cutting good, luckily, um, and just be smooth. And uh, You got it done. Good luck with the next final. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you.